when I first self-harmed. It wasn't a bad thing. At the time, I didn't really know what it was doing, but I knew it was doing something. I think I needed someone at that point to turn around and tell me it was going to be OK, and I didn't have anyone to tell me that at the time. I was born and brought up here on Regent's Park Estate. I was about 13 or 14 and I saw this massive purple bus on the estate and it had XLP plastered along the front. I said, what is this? Let's go and check it out. I was completely shocked to find that the bus inside was not like a normal bus. There was a kitchen, there was seats, Xboxes, places to do homework, learn to cook. So we was like, oh, this is really cool and kept coming back. I went to school in South London. It was quite a good school. Every student had to like hit that grade and they would really, really push you. And I knew I was gonna struggle when it came up to GCSEs. It was a lot of pressure to do my family proud, to do myself proud. And at the time I thought I couldn't talk to people about what was going on. When GCSEs came around and I didn't pass everything, I wasn't offered a place at sixth form. It felt really horrible. I felt like I'd completely failed, so ended up really getting in my head about it and started self-harming. The first memory I have was burning my arms with deodorant cans and then very quickly it moved on to cutting. My mum was the first person who realised and at the time I don't think they knew what to do. So the first thing they did was they called my school up and I remember going into school the next day and the words they said to me was, you need to stop doing this because you're only doing it for attention. There's nothing wrong, you're fine. I went home that night and cut my arm up again. I remember thinking, I have no control of what's going on at all. And this is the one thing that I have control of. I didn't talk to the XLP leader straight away. I'd known them for about two years by that point, but I still felt like this is my problem. It was only when we kind of got invited on our summer camp that I really thought, ah, oh, they are going to stick around. Maybe it is worth me talking to them. We have a campfire every evening. We've got a leader called Mary with running the bus. And I remember Mary coming over to me at the time. She said, would you like to talk around the fire this year? I remember shaking top to toe as I got up. And I laid it all out in front of all of the people that were on the trip. Mary came and gave me a hug afterwards and I was crying. She was like, you know what, if you ever need to have like a chat, I'm here. I remember that feeling of relief. It wasn't somebody who was judging me, telling me it was for attention. It was someone who was helping me try and find different methods of coping with the stress and letting me know that I wasn't a failure. Like really trying to break the mindset that I'd given myself. I'm now on the XLP experience year, which is a gap year. I'm a leader on the bus that I first went to as a young person, which is really awesome. And I think through the experience that I've had, I know what it feels like to be there and feel like you're not worth anything. And actually I can be the person to be like, you are worth millions. And I'm getting to be that person that Mary was for me to somebody else. And that's all because XLP helped me out. Joey's <laughs> 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 <laughs>